Hi there, Adam Bazaljet here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. I'm at the beautiful club at Mediterra, Naples, Florida. Today, strategies for playing good golf in windy conditions. It's the toughest of conditions. We'll give you a few general thoughts. We'll look at how to release the club for a lower trajectory, and then we'll end with a pretty interesting driver strategy tip in the wind. Okay, three little cues to get you started. Conservative strategy. I don't care how good a player you are. In windy conditions, it's not that windy out here right now, you will not have the kind of control over your direction or even your distances as you would in a normal day, so be conservative. Secondly, hey, remember, keep your expectations down. You look at a tour event, light, rain, cold, they'll never drive the scores up like wind will. It's going to be the same for everybody that day out on the golf course, so have reasonable expectations. Third and final one related a little bit to that. The mental picture you have, the mindset you have when you play golf or anything else in life probably is very important. So try to relish the challenge, not just feel like you're getting beaten down, you don't like the weather, it's a struggle, you'd rather it was different. Relish the challenge and you'll be ready for action. Let's look at how to keep the trajectory down. So obviously, unless you're with the wind, you want to keep your trajectory down. Strong crosswinds against you, you want to keep it down. First thing, of course, is you can move your ball position back a little bit, and I would suggest you do so. We're going to momentarily look at how to really add some deal off through impact, the technique of it. The other thing is club selection. Take more club, and I mean if it's windy, a couple of clubs at least, and just don't swing as hard. If you play the ball back, and I've got a seven iron here I'm about to hit, I'm trying to hit at the distance of maybe my nine iron, if there was no wind, let's try one here. Get set up, balls back a little bit. Nice smooth swing, three quarter finish. You will have far better control. The ball will go lower because you've chosen less loft and because there's less swing speed, that also keeps it lower and takes spin off the shot. So play it back a little, take extra club and swing smoothly. Let's have a look at that release. So I've got my ball position a little bit back. I've got my seven iron. So you have to have shaft lean. When the shaft leans forward, it's de-lofting the club. But a pitfall is people often when they do that, they start chopping down too much. We don't want that. We want to be fairly level. Certainly with some shaft lean, there is a descending blow. We're not against that, but we don't want to hammer towards the ground. And not only must you lean the shaft, you need to tilt this lead hand as that that's going to change the loft of the club face. Let me show you a great drill for that. Well, if you like these videos here at Scratch Golf Academy, I hope you do, hope you find them helpful. Love it if you'd subscribe or hit the like button, hit the bell as well. You'll be notified every time a new one's coming your way. Cell phone, that's all you need for this drill. I got it from my buddy, Jeff Ritter, teacher out in Oregon there, wonderful teacher. Put it in your lead hand, and if you were pacing yourself coming through in slow motion, just the lead hand, what would it take to look at the cell phone? What would it take to read the screen of the cell phone? I mean, anybody could do that in one try. Now, again, I teach golf full-time, have for decades. Don't unempower yourself. You can do that. Now, I'm not saying you can go for a tournament first tee on a par three right now and do that, but you can do this stuff. Here's how I want you to work on it. Rehearse that feeling. Just one hand looking at the palm of my hand there where the phone would be. That would probably hit the ball a bit to the left, but now, handle forward. Tilt the palm upwards. Here's the key, don't go at it full speed. Don't even worry about contact. Just get in there and feel something different. Just feel your body, give it a chance to sort of show up. Those are low left, I don't care. I'm feeling something different here. And remember, the more you drive the grip end of the club forward, the more of that tilt you can afford and the more you need. If you're scooping it and you tilt like that, I'm afraid you are going to hit it left. So work on that and then build your way up to a little bit more full speed. Now, a couple of other thoughts. Once you start really adding speed, obviously those are very, very soft, you are going to need some movement from your core and your hips in order to get the club shaft forward. Different great players do this slightly differently, but it is always a combination of some weight shift, at least hip to front foot, front to ankle like that, and some hip turn. It's not just hip turn. And I think as you work on this, I'll do a small one with a reasonable amount of speed here. You're really looking for not only that dynamic move of the hips that gets the, the, the shaft leaning, and of course the left hand, but more of a punching short, sawn off kind of a finish. You don't want the high finish. That's indicative of too much release. So here we go. Small shot but with a little bit of speed. There we go. Now that thing, you'll have to take my word for it, was, I don't know, 15 feet in the air, probably went 130 yards. So you can do this stuff if you practice it. 
start on a small scale. Now, we said at the beginning we'd give you a driver strategy tip. This might surprise you. Let's go back to the T and have a look. So final thoughts, if you're on the T, and you're downwind or close to straight downwind, that's the time to be aggressive. Number one, hit it hard, get it up in the wind, let it carry it. Number two, the wind is always going to channel your ball forward. So if you fade it a bit, it blows it this way. Same with a bit of a draw. Be aggressive, take advantage of the few opportunities you have when you're downwind. or well, when you're in a windy day, let's get a little rehearsal swing here. See what my version of aggressive is these days. No, that wasn't too bad. Be aggressive downwind, generally be conservative, relish the challenge. Hope this helps.